two or three years before, but actually more even for the children who were already in the as well, because it changes the culture of the school. Since then, there was a recent study released in Sweden, who now have three school meals, and they rolled it out area by area, and, and they found that the poorest children's lifetime income improved by 6%. Uh, thanks to the introduction of universal free school meals. Uh, but even more importantly than that, I think if you look today at you know, the, the biggest drag on our economy, right long term right sickness, the and the biggest pit. cause of that is um, uh, the biggest cause of uh, avoidable disease is food. It's, it's the biggest cause of, you know, a uh, cost to the NHS, £74 billion pounds cost the economy every year. So I think not only we shouldn't just look at this as an intervention narrowly on ac academics we could look at it as the beginning of thinking about how we change our food culture so that uh, so many of us aren't sick and unable to contribute either in the lives of our